Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and today I'll be showing you a great uh, Minecraft program that you can use to make a skin. It's probably the most easiest program I've ever seen out there. It's definitely my favorite so far that I've ever seen. Um, I just found it today, and I think it's really cool, and I thought that I would share it with you guys. It's called MC Skin 3 d um, Basically, I downloaded it from the Minecraft forum. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download this program from, because it's very helpful, and I definitely recommend getting it. Um... So when you download it, I just hit Extract Files um, on WinRAR, and it opened up in this folder right here. And when you open this up, you're going to get a bunch of things right here. But the main thing that you're going to want to use is this application right here. Um, in here, you just have skins that you saved. In here, it's just some color schemes. And yeah, so basically the thing that you're going to want to worry about is the MC Skin 3D. So when you open that up, you can see that we have a sort of 3D type graph of... Um, um, the Minecraft guy. So yeah, uh, you can move it around in 3D angles um, like that. You can zoom in and out on him. So I can zoom way far or zoom too far in. And I can spin him 360, 360 degrees around and see all around him to, cre to customize my character in every way. So as you can see, uh, there's some also some tools up here. This I button is the camera button. This is what you're going to use to like move it around and stuff like that. But also in pencil mode, if you're using your right click on your mouse, you can also um, move around on them also. Um, but on the pencil, you can... Uh, let me select a color. I'll choose yellow because I don't care about this guy. Uh, you can like draw on it. So you can draw directly on it. And it will like do on the arms. It will do on each side. But if I draw on the chest, then I can just draw individually on there. And... As you can see, they're individual blocks, so I can just like click like that. Um, what I had going right here was like unexclusive gaming with the U and the G. Um, I'm not done. Actually, I, this was just kind of a test skin. I'm not even going to use this. I'm going to make it a lot more epic. But yeah, it's pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, so you can basically just draw and it'll, it'll copy it on either side if you're doing like an arm and leg to make sure that everything is even on each side so that you don't have to draw each side individually it'll do it on both sides so as you can see I drew on the legs and if I draw on the arms yeah, then it'll do it on the other arm also that's really cool I haven't seen that in too many of them also up here you have a dropper tool so you can like pick up colors and stuff um, you have an eraser tool you have a dodge tool you have a burn tool and you have a perspective camera thing you have a skin view so like you can click this and it'll turn into the original skin type view more the old fashioned way where it takes forever to do and also this screenshot uh, we don't need to I'm not going to do that because we don't need to take a picture um, down here you have your color system like skin colors you have system colors you have base colors general colors yeah and you can shoot, go to this over here and like find your custom color by clicking around on there and also with that thing so that's pretty cool um when you go up here, you can actually view it in 3D mode. You can animate it. You can follow the cursor so when I move around, his head will move around, which is pretty awesome. And in 2D mode, you can do that. But yeah, it's, that's not too much. Um, also, you can show visible parts. So if you're working on a certain part, you can hit Control-1. It'll take away the face. Control-2 will take away the helmet. Control-3 will take away the body. Control-4 will take away the right arm. Control-5 will take away the left arm. Control 6 will take away one leg and Control 7 will take away that leg and when I click them all back then they'll all show up. That's good because you can just work on one part at a time without worrying about accidentally clicking on another part. That's pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Um, that's basically all you're going to have. That's basically all that there is that you need to know about. Um, but you can also like import your old skins. You can clone a skin. And it's super simple to save. You just click save as and then you can give it a name and it will save it to the skins skins folder inside the uh, inside the uh, MC skin folder that you downloaded but overall this is like a pretty awesome program um, you can also just hit use this skin and it'll automatically ask you to log in it's it's safe so you just log in with that and it'll automatically use it you don't even have to go to the website you can just use it right from this program which is pretty awesome this is probably the best skin making program that I've seen around and I would definitely recommend it so if you want to check it out you can go in the link in the description below and pick this skin program up. I'll put a link down there to the Minecraft form post. Um, but overall, it's a great skin modifier, and I definitely recommend it. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope that you'll take a second to leave a thumbs up down below. That helped me out a bunch. As well as leave a comment, uh, you know, just with your opinions on this or any other type of skin, skin modifiers that you've seen out there. 
And also, if you're new to my videos, then go ahead and subscribe because I upload Minecraft tutorials and Minecraft videos and more gaming videos to come soon. So, uh, yeah, you can subscribe for that. So, anyways, that's all I got in this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. See ya.